Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tasia Nisim I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we welcome you in right now with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, we pause to tell you that we thank you and that we love you, that we adore you and that we trust you. And God, we magnify your name, Father God. And God, I pray and ask that it be none of me and all of you. God, I thank you right now that you're covering each and every one of us right now, Father God, under your blood and you're healing us with your stripes right now, Father God. God, I ask and pray that whatever it is that my sister and my brother in Christ stand in the need of on today, at this very moment, that you meet them right where they are, Father God, that God, you actually take the time, Father God, to heal each and every broken heart, Father God, feed every person, Lord God, that's in need, shelter each and every person that needs it right now, Father God, and allow them to know that nothing is too big for you. All we have to do is ask, seek, and knock. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hello, so I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord on today. Hey guys, I'm so excited um, that you've joined in on today to hear what the Lord is saying. If you're new here, welcome. Come on in. You're going to want to stay for a while. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because as the Lord downloads into my spirit, I upload to you what he gives to me to give to you. Amen. So again, guys, I'm so excited. The Lord is saying on today that your kingdom spouse is ready to get to the good part. Yes. Your kingdom spouse is ready to get to the good part. And when God gave this to me, you know, it really ministered down into my spirit. It really ministered down because so many times, you know, a lot of times when we're in relationships and we're dealing with people, you know, sometimes they leave before the movie is over. Sometimes they don't want to get to the part, you know, um, where, where it gets good at. You know, they stop in the beginning of it. They stop midway. You know, they figure I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't push through this. I can't push through that. Your kingdom spouse understands this scripture that I'm about to give to you on today. God placed on my heart, you know, for you to have. And you guys know that I'm in the easy version. Amen. Amen. So it's coming from James chapter one, beginning at the 17th verse. It says, remember that every good gift comes from us, from God. He only does what will help us. He is our father in heaven. He made everything in the sky that gives us light. Those things do not give us the same light all the time. They change, but God does not change. Amen. So again, that was James chapter 1 and 17. Remember, every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. So, and I want to go down to the bottom where it says, those things do not give us the same light all the time. They change, but God does not change change. So I want you to know that sometimes, you know, things change. Sometimes things may not go the way that you plan for them to go, but you got to be willing to get through the dark parts of the situation in order to enjoy the light, in order to even be able to eat. In order to get to the table, you got to be willing to go through the shadows of the things and that life comes along with the relationship, the challenges that you're going to face. And if you can make it through those things, you know, that's when you're going to realize that, you know, hey, even in my dark situation, God will give me a bright idea. And that's what God is saying on today that, you know, your kingdom spouse is saying, I want to stick it out with you and I want to get to the good part. And I know that if we can, get, if we can just get through this, if we can just make it through that, I promise you, if you don't leave before the movie is over, I promise you it's going to be well worth the wait. And your kingdom spouse is so dedicated to getting to the good part. You know, they don't want to miss out on the journey. They're not so in a rush to get to the destination. They're and I want you to notice inside of the scripture that it does say up here, when you look back at it, it says, after it says, remember that every good and perfect gift or every good gift comes from God. You know, he does what will help us. I want you to know that God is going to only do what will help us. He's only going to do what will help us because whatever it is that the enemy means for the bad, God is going to turn the situation around for the good. But if you notice also at the bottom, it tells you that those things do not give us the same light all the time. They change, but God does not change. Things that we try to do on our own, it's not always going to be the way that we expect for it to go. 
It's not going to always shine the way that we expect for it to shine. It's not always going to glitter like gold. It's not always going to be roses and daisies, but I promise you, God is here to help us. I promise you, God is going to see you through the entire thing because every good and perfect gift comes from him. Although people may change, God will not change and things are not going to come easy. And your kingdom spouse knows that things are not going to be easy in this marriage. Things are not going to be easy in this relationship. Things are not going to be easy sometimes with the finances. Sometimes, you know, things are not going to go as planned. But I want you to know that at the beginning of the scripture, it allows us to know that God will help us. God will see us through. So it might be hard right now. It may, it may seem hard right now, but your kingdom spouse is ready to get to the good part with you. He wants to, he wants to or she wants to stick it out with you to the end. They're in this for the long haul. God said, I meant it when I told you that man should not be alone. God said, I meant it when I told you that I'm making somebody that's strategically designed for you. God is saying that I meant that. And I know it's not going to always be easy. But if you can trust me to stick it out with you throughout the long haul, God says, I know that it's not going to be easy. And I understand sometimes things can be frustrating. And I understand that things may not be going as into plan as you think it should go or as you, or as you have it played out in your mindset. But God says, I want to let you know that I'm only going to do what's going to help you. And see, sometimes people get to thinking that, you know, hey, this cannot be from God because this is going on and that's going on. It was a big mess on last week. It was a big mess on last month. I don't even know where I get this from. This wasn't even in my notes that God gave me. God is saying it doesn't matter what confusion has happened, what thing has taken place. God is saying that, you know, it's not going to always be the way that you want it to be. But I promise you that I'm going to be here to help you because you got to be willing to go get through the dark situation in order for it to be light. God says, because when I created this very thing between the two of you, God says it was good. It's perfect. And I know it may not seem that way, but you just don't realize that you got all the tools that you need for me to be able to help you. Yeah, it may have started it this way, but it's not about how it starts off. It's about how it finished. And it's going to finish with me just like it started with me. It's going to end with me because if I gave this to you, know that I'm going to help you work it out. If I brought you to it, I'm going to see you through it. Know that we're going to all get to the table. Know that you have to get to the table to be able to eat. You're just going through the shadows of it. You're just going through the bad times. You're just going through the ups and downs. You're just going through that part where you can figure one another out. Your kingdom spouse is willing to be naked with you in a place where they say, listen, you know, this is me. You know, sometimes I don't get it right. Sometimes I get frustrated. This is the reason why I get frustrated. This is the things that does bother me. This is the things that I can't take. These are the things that I can't handle. But I'm willing to, if you're willing to, you know, help me. If we can help each other to agree to disagree. If we can get back on the right track or on the right path. Because I realized that when I'm marrying you, I'm marrying a sinner. You know, I'm going to fall short, but I'm going to get back up. Your kingdom spouse is not allowed to, I mean, afraid to, you know, allow you to know those pieces of them that they wouldn't normally open up and share with anybody. They're going to be able to open up to you to allow you to know that part where it hurts at, that part where, you know, they don't really do too good when they share it because they don't know how that person is going to act or how they're going to feel. But they're going to be able to be open and naked with you, to be vulnerable with you, to be intimate with you. It's not really easy looking into someone. Mm -hmm. When you see that part that's exposed and your kingdom spouse is not going to be afraid to look into you and accept you just for who you are because they don't want to fight you. They want to fight the issue. They don't want to tackle you. They want to tackle the problem, right? So they want to get to the good part, the part where you guys understand one another, the part where you build together, the part where you build that trust. It's not going to always come the way you want it to come. This is not build a bear. You know, this is a place where you have to build that trust with Christ. You've got to keep God involved in it. And that's what they're willing to do. If we can just push past the negativity, if we can push past the doubts, 
if we can push past the factor of what I did on last week, last month, I don't know who this is for, but it's something that took place in somebody's life that ended up being a, a, a mess. But if you guys can just go back and say, listen, it's not about the destination because if it was about the destination, this is why we're so disappointed now. But it's about the journey that we're taking together with Christ to get to know one another. So you guys can't leave before the movie is over. Don't quit now. The race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but to those who endure until the end. And that's what your kingdom spouse is willing to endure this with you to the end. But we got to trust God the entire time. And that's the reason why, you know, a lot of you, God, God has an isolation so that some of those mistakes that you've made before, you won't take that into this new relationship, this marriage that God is getting ready to put you in. Because starting over is not the same thing as starting from scratch. This time you have experience. For a lot of you, you know not to do the things that you did in the past. You know not to be living like you are single when you're married, right? You know not to be living like you're alone when you're in a relationship. You know you can't make those same moves that you did before. You know that this is going to take another mindset. This is going to be you unlocking another version of yourself, you know, that's allowing that person to come in to where you can't be that person that just shuts everything and everybody out. This, this situation is going to cause you to be, you're going to be vulnerable, you got to be able to let someone in and don't worry. God is saying, you don't worry what the, the person I have for you. When I send them to you, it's not going to be to where you can't let them in. I'm going to put you in a place to where you can let someone in that you can trust somebody. I know you may not have been able to trust somebody before, but this is a part of the good part that you're going to be able to trust your kingdom spouse. You're going to be able to let them in because guess what? They want to get in with you and they want to get to the good part with you and they don't want to be in the darkness. They understand that God said that when he made you, that it was good. I'm sorry for the person that gave up on you before, but God is saying right now what I'm sending to you. I'm only here to help you. And for some of you who have lost relationships, for some of you who relationships are on pause, you don't know which way to go. God is saying, I'm giving you a bright idea in a dark situation. I'm giving Giving you the green light to allow this thing to go again because whether it was darkness at and have already allowed that very thing to shine again and this time when I bring it together it won't be easily broken God has said I'm building you up something that is not easily broken but I need you to get through the dark part so that you can eat I need you to get past the doubt so that you can eat. I need you to get past all that, all of those things that you keep bottled up on the inside so that you can eat. I need the stubbornness to leave so that you can eat. It doesn't always have to go your way. You don't always have to see it your way. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go your way. Let it go God's way. God has said, let me give you that Galatians 5. Let me fill you up with my fruits. I need this. If this thing is going to work, it's going to be fruitful. I need you to have my fruits of the spirit. I need all your fruits to be gone if it's not like me. Your kingdom spouse wants to eat on that good fruit with you. They want to get to the good part. Guys, this message was so awesome. I don't know who this message was for on today, but I want you to know to hold on. I want you to know that it may seem like everything is falling apart. Like nothing is working, but I want you to know in the dark areas, that's when God is working the most because where it was dark at God says, let there be light. And there was light. There is light. And not only has some of you just came from going to God. Some of you are wondering, how do you go to God? You begin to allow God to know God is me. God, I love you. Forgive me for every sin I've done knowingly and unknowingly. God, forgive me for trying to micromanage and do things the way that I want to do them because I realize that I can't serve you and do things my way. 
that God, I trust you even in this dark situation. God, it hurts me that I'm not with the person that I want to be with, or, or it hurts me that things are not going the way I thought that it was going to go, or, or, or God, I, I just need you guys. You told me that this was for me, and God, now I don't understand how this is going to work out, or God, I'm waiting for my kingdom spouse, and I've been waiting for quite some time, and I don't know when it's going to happen, and sometimes I feel like giving up, but I want you to begin to say, God, I trust you to get me to the good part. I trust you that no matter what darkness I have to walk through right now, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the devil, I should fear no evil. God, I should not fear nothing that's coming up my way or nothing that's coming up against me because I'm going to stick it out to the good part. That dark stuff must mean that the good part is somewhere around the corner. And I want you to know that it's not just around the corner. The good part is here now because we're not going to wait till the battle is over. We're going to shout now. We're going to say hallelujah now we're going to say god thank you right now because god we trust your part of the story because you know the plans that you have for me and god i trust you and i serve you no strings attached tell god i trust you no strings attached god i won't micromanage you god you do it however you want it to be done god is turning the lights on now you guys are going to get to the good part Don't have everybody inside of your business. Don't let everybody know what's going on. Go to God as soon as this message is over and go into prayer because I don't want you to be naive enough to think that the enemy is not listening. Go to God. I want you to know that it's about to get good. If you believe this, say, God, I believe that things are about to get good in my life. I believe that I'm getting to the good part. I do believe that vengeance is yours i do believe that the battle is not mine to fight i do believe that i don't have to wait till the battle is over i can shout now because god i trust you i trust you then and i trust you now and god if i wasn't trusting you like i needed to trust you forgive me god because i know lord god that you know what's best for me even though my weary eyes sometimes they can't see but i trust you and i love you god more than anything You guys are going to get to the good part. I believe your good part is happening right now. Your good part is happening right now. Somebody's getting married. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting engaged. Mm -hmm. Somebody's relationship is coming back together. Mm, I feel it right now for somebody. Where it was once dark at God is allowing that thing to come back around into the light. I felt that so heavy for somebody on today. Amen. Amen. So again, let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we come to you as humble as we know how with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, we love you. We trust you. We adore you. God, we thank you for this message on today. God, we thank you that you have kingdom spouses that you have lined up, Father God, or kingdom spouses that you already have inside of our lives that wants to get to the good part with us, that doesn't just see the things falling apart and wants to give up on us, but they want to stick it out with us to the end, that they want to endure it to the end because they want to get to the part, God, that you allowed us to know that because we are here right now, because we have suffered with you, that we will reign with you and God I pray that you continue to deliver us from making poor choices and bad decisions God we thank you right now that you've made the decision to be in the room with us on today again God touch each and every person that's watching this video God we ask right now God that you begin to continue to have your way inside of our lives Father God and we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative against this message against each and every person that's watching God you cover them right now in the name of Jesus God we love you and we adore you in Jesus name we pray amen Amen. Shalom in the Lord. Many peace in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to send me an email if you have a prayer request. It's prayingwithtayjanice at gmail.com. And don't forget to sow into this ministry as God lays it on your heart. And I believe he'll turn it back to you. I pray over every seed. I love you guys so much. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Shalom.